Hello everyone, we are at the Hungara Ring for round 11, is it? Uh, of this co-op uh, championship with Ryan L33 and myself, Fizz191. So, um, Ryan, how are you doing today? I'm good, I'm good. Uh, That's good to hear. <laughs> after a good performance uh, last time out in Germany, yeah. very happy. Uh, but onwards and upwards, second off of the season, still in the hunt for the championship. Uh, so. And I've got yeah. some uh, making up to do after my horrible performance in Germany. And yes. have a double check now that my setup is actually right this time, unlike last uh, last week. And it looks yep. alright. <laughs> Just going to take a few stats. Uh, the race distance is 49 miles. Uh, and I won't be doing a prediction because I always get them wrong. So <laughs> it's very long. Penalty points, man. <laughs> 90 points for Harrison <laughs> uh, around the corner there. But uh, we're going to take us through the grid. Yeah. Uh, we don't know who's on where. Petrov behind Carthage Kane, so then he's gone. Oh, Petrov's on pole. That's a wait. Oh, that's a very bizarre grid. Masses in twelfth. Oh, okay. Masses the only one who's outside the top ten. Yeah, and he hasn't had a good season in general, so I don't think that's a massive surprise at this point, really. And the Vettel on pole for second race in a row, and unfortunately the McLaren up there once again. Disappointing as always. Yeah. So uh, I'll be on this strategy for my subscribers. Will know. Oh, I don't know which one I should do. Although to be honest, last time on the option started, it went horribly wrong. So um, might want to try something different. Just uh, yeah, I'm going to be on that tire, and it's gorgeous sunshine. So we're going to be crap. Yeah, unfortunately, oh, no uh, no wet weather once again. It's been quite a few dry races now after. We had the dynamic weather in Canada, but mm -hmm. so maybe next time by yeah, next time at, at a oh, track <laughs> we won't mention the track. Oh, I'm yet. sure people know the track. <laughs> you never know; it could be Singapore next. Oh yeah, well the game could decide to skip some races. Bernie oh, Bern oh. could like oh, just try tactically changed it because we're obviously having a nice holiday after this. <laughs> okay. In the game that is. Yeah. <laughs> uh, on the grid, battle once again, second pole in a row. Maybe Red Bull will bring it back next the second half of the season. Yeah, but Red Bull is the uh, team we need to catch in the championship now. They're the one ahead of, ahead of us, so we don't really see that. Uh, really? Ah, Fizzy, you're on the primes, I see. I am certainly on the primes. It's a bit strange to use as we go. That is good. And once again, two races in a row. Very, very long wait for the start. Yep. It's a long pit straight, so there's cars weaving everywhere. Let's try to be careful. And Ryan, you've gone just straight in through the middle of everyone once again. And so I've had a bit too cautious start for my liking, unfortunately. Oh my god. Ah! I'm in a sandwich. I'm in a Vern Reikinen sandwich. And Vern nearly got spun. I mean, he got a penalty there, but. Gone around the side, outside of a ton of cars there, into P15 there. Yeah. Going up the hill. Can we try to get Senna as well? He's broken a bit early, but I oh, couldn't squeeze through there. That would have been an accident, I think. We're going to have another go up into the chicane, maybe, but oh, the AI breaks. Oh, I can just push me off the grass, onto the grass. Oh, there's lots of cars going on. Bunched up back here. It's a <laughs> massive train behind the train behind you now, Ryan. <laughs> Well, that was because of Raikkonen and pushing me off, but yeah, yeah, blame the thing. Okay. You did. <laughs> oh, oh, my dirt just slammed shut in front of me. <laughs> uh, once again, I'm on the pad again. After my impressive performance at Germany, I thought, let's give the pad another go and see how we do around here. Yeah, let's use the most unrealistic control method because that's apparently faster. <laughs> oh, got a uh, button. I think is that Hamilton? Is that in Hamilton's down in seventh place? He's had a horrible start. He was second on the grid. He was, yeah. And he's gone backwards. So that's quite interesting. Well, that's good for the championship. Yes. Keep on pursuit. Oh, did a bit of uh, off-roading. Now this track is not, I'm not really a fan of the first sector and the second sector. 
background here. It's not really my sort of track to race on. Yeah, it's uh, it's a difficult one. You know, I, I like certain corners, but then others are just plain annoying. Like this section here, I'm not a fan of this technical, uh, very twisty, and I've just gone wide as well. And again. On the primes, uh, uh, at least, and like I think most people around me are on the options. I'm pulling away from Maldonado. And uh, Weber's seven tenths ahead of me. Yeah, Weber's just set the fastest lap as well. So we go into lap three when DRS will be open, and uh, when next time we go to the start finish, right? So I need to stay at the back of these guys. If I can't pass them, at least. Oh, I just massively went by there. It's hard to get that corner at the top of the hill right without going wide or taking too much of the curve. Oh, a bit slidey there. So just struggling a bit to hang on to this train. Once again, run wide through there. Always we gone into this uh, race with no practice, so uh, at the start, that's why we might just struggling a bit uh, more than usual at the start of the race. Just being opportunistic there, taking Diresta up the inside, so we got DRS and the position before this race. And I just dive bombed Hamilton, but we're side by side. Yeah, I've dive bombed Kobayashi. I've done a Kobayashi on Kobayashi, and he had a massive overstay moment, so. I've got P12 then. I'm up into 7th place. Next one is uh, Sergio Perez, who is going very slowly up the hill here. <laughs> so you have, a, you have had a good start to race once again, going into the, the top 10 very quickly in here. And uh, obviously me on the primes, but I'm, I'm, I'm um, struggling a bit in these early stages. So this is going to be probably the easiest move I've ever done on F1 2012. <laughs> but Perez has got DRS as well, but we have the quicker car. And we're going to go down his inside. Oh, I've got DRS and John Eric Vern for P11, but he's got DRS as well. So I'm going to have to outbreak him, which we've done nicely. Hit the apex. Oh, a bit slidey on the X but we get, get the move done. Oh no, Grosjean spun it, I think I've tapped him and I've got a penalty. Oh my oh. god, what the hell happened there? That is a big shame, and, and yeah, <laughs> Grosjean sitting on the side of the track. Marshall's waving the flags and looks like he had no front wing there. That's, that's, oh, is that Perez as well has no front wing going up the hill? He's going slow, I don't know what you did to him, Ryan. Oh, hello, we've got a white marker. Someone's out, I think. Yeah. Could be a safety car. Oh, we really haven't seen that before this season. That could be because we've had it off. Well, yeah, well, not for the past few races, at least. It's the first retirement of the season. Well, I've seen. Yeah, I don't know. It was a few races at the early stages of the season that were a bit carnage But <laughs> I don't know if people actually retired. So uh, do you do these um, things happening? Then I'm at least into the top ten in P9 at the moment. P11 
Come on, keep it, Rogan. I have to hit my driver, this is gonna be depressing oh. seeing you move fast. Yeah, that is the same man. Had to drive it through myself in Valencia, so I know how fucking annoying that is. I'm going to come out just behind whoever this person is. <laughs> John Alec Vern. I'm still in the points. Yeah, that means you're two places behind me. That's my chances of a podium just gone out the window. Yeah, it's quite a bit of gap up from, uh, uh, I think, up from 6th and up to the front pack. Uh, but obviously, hopefully, I can pull some more pace on the option stint at the end of the race, but I think it's going to be hard to catch these guys at the front. And the AI seems so much quicker. I mean, I'm, I don't think I'm finding the right line through there. AI seems to be turning in so much better through that uh, section. Oh, track temperature is dropping. That's going to yeah. suit us. Perfectly. I think there might be some uh, clouds coming in there because uh, it was very dark there at uh, turn uh, 10 or whatever it is. 11. You can see some light cloud in the sky. I've got the DRS open on the Raikon, but he will have DRS as well from the car ahead. As Hamilton just has the fastest lap, unfortunately. So he's on a comeback drive. I think you said he had a bad start. So uh, how is your options holding up, Ryan? Um, not great. Not great. So you not plan great. To sooner, maybe. I might pit this lap. I think. Yeah. But not up to scratch. Yeah. You, you might struggle at the end, you know, if you leave yeah, it too. Yeah, that's uh, what I'm thinking. Well, yeah, I might, uh, I'm just continuing uh, when I want to pit. I'll pit lap 11, I think, if I'm honest. Because I'm losing grip already. And this is only 7 laps. Yeah, and you, wait, so you go four more laps on them? Despite no, 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 I'm pitting really pit struggling for 6 laps, I'm just thinking for you. Yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah, I think you're right for that, yeah. Oh, for you, I'll just stay out till maybe lap 11, lap 12. Yeah, I think yeah, that sounds uh, like a decent plan. But you should see maybe the AI coming in within the next couple of laps there. Well, that's the AI for you. <laughs> no AI in the pits just yet. Oh, getting very close to Riken and the braking. Yeah, this track is, in general, I think, at least in this game, is pretty bad for a tire wear, isn't it? Yeah, it is indeed. Very bad. Yeah. As we found out on F1 2011. Oh yeah, that was in the, with the tire scaling as well. We had to do like four pits up in a 50% race, no one's. As the clouds are coming on quite heavily here. Eh? It wasn't any rain predicted. Nope. Uh, you never know with this game. Pretty close to Rocken, I think. Don't know if I want to have a go here. Might just uh, save the pass until the DRS ends. Wheel is in. Yep. Keep in the pits in as uh, Riken and whoever that was ahead of me. Was it Williams, I think? Was it? Who's also got in the pit lane? Which means that I'll go all the way up to P3. And i come out where the leaders are. <laughs> nice. Just make sure you hold them up a bit, yeah? Well, I've got to get past Button, that's it. <laughs> Which I do. Up into sixth place.
battle was just ahead of, ahead of uh, John A. Vern. Yeah, so there's two AI that stayed out, and that's Hamilton in second, and I'm not quite sure who's leading at the moment. I don't know. I think it's Weber. Alright. Yeah, because Vettel's behind me. Oh, bit of an oversteer. I'm pitting. Alright. So you actually um, got nine laps in the options. Nice. Uh... Pit battle. We've got ourselves a pit battle here between the Taurus and the Mercedes. <laughs> Nico in the pits, I can't imagine now. I don't know why he calls you Nico, because I got Nico's clothes. 3.9 and Toro also can get out ahead of me, which is great. <laughs> well. yeah, the Mercedes aren't having the best pit stop times on this uh, this season for us, to be honest. Nope. Might have to put up some kind of ultimatum to Ross Braun to make him uh, fix it. Oh, truck temperature is rising again. Yeah, I think there's uh, the clouds that were pretty much overcast before, but now the clouds are slowly disappearing again, so unfortunately there won't be any rain, it seems. It would have been uh, great for me if it started raining now, because I've been, I would have <laughs> inherited the lead then, actually. But uh, it's not going to happen. It's lap 11, so I should be pitting at the end of this, I think. And looking at the minimap, the, the, it's about 5 seconds for me at the moment until the leaders. And there's 4 cars there uh, in a train for the lead, I think. I've just got past Jean Auvergne -E into ninth place. Kimi Raikkonen to the next target. It's the final sector and I'm going into the pits in a second. It's going to be interesting to see where I come out. I think it was in P8, was it, I was in before everyone started pitting? Mm-hmm. You might just come out just ahead of me. Yeah. I'll make sure to tell our crew that we're going on the options so that we don't get any misunderstandings. Like in Canada. So the options on and all the leaders you can hear going through on the other side of the pit wall. And there's as well, I don't know who that was. Uh, I'm in P6 at the moment, I think. There's two cars coming down the pit lane. Uh, is that you, Ryan? It's not me. It's not you. So it's Maldonado, at least, in behind me. And I've got the jump on him. Maldonado, and I start Riken, I think, behind that. Yeah, Rackens in that pack as well. Yeah. So I managed to jump those two uh, by staying out uh, three laps longer than them. But then there's quite a bit of gap up to Hamilton P5. 5.4 seconds. I'm on the faster tyres, so hopefully, if I can uh, keep focused, I should be able to maybe close that at least a bit. Bit cold tires at the moment though. I turned up to rich as well, and I haven't barely used any fuel in this race, I think. Yeah, plus three laps, so I should be able to stick it on Rich and stay there for a while. It's 
Alonso has the fastest lap. It's Weber, as you said before, and it's Weber in the lead of the race. And uh, that's uh, a bit unfortunate for you, isn't it? Because he's the guy in front of you in the, in the championship and in front of me as well, if you don't look at you. Yep. Right, no so not good for us. Seconds. I think we've been stuck in P6 and P7 in the championship for quite a while, so... We need to get a move on soon. So, of course, this is um, we're halfway through the season before this race. And there's some cars there, I think that's back markers, yeah. I think that looks like an HRT there ahead. But Hamilton's definitely getting closer. I'm, um, with rich fuel and option tires, I'm, I'm definitely closing the gap. Gonna get some cheeky slipstream from that uh, HRT and set the purple lap. I can see Hamilton now at the end of that straight. It's getting closer. We have a gap of about three seconds between you and the next car. Three seconds now. option types, at least until they start wearing. I'm feeling so much better on the points. It's a bit unreal. So holy, how are you holding up, Ryan? Where are you, <laughs> Yeah, I'm kind of <laughs> trying to... I've been telling you for a while. Nah, I, I just locked up on the last lap and... Uh, oh, no. Lost ninth place. Well, I lost two places. As I'm about to lose another one here. Yeah. Maybe not. We can't seem to have a good race at the same time anymore, can we? <laughs> it's either no. one, one of us having a decent race. I hate struggling. Hungary. <laughs> you know I hate Hungary. Yeah, I do. I can vouch for that. So I've lost. I'm not going to catch up with Kobayashi again because he's just come and gone. I'm really fighting for a point here. Yep. And I'm still catching up to Hamilton. I should surely be close enough to make it pass before the end of this race. It's uh, three laps to go now after this. And I'm two seconds behind. And I can see the Ferrari as well ahead of him now. That would be Alonso, I imagine. Because Massa hasn't been up there for so many races this season. Nope. Alright, 1.7. Let's try to get into the DRS by the end of this lap. And we've got a bat marker up ahead. It's a bit odd. Must be yeah. Sergio Perez or something. But I, I've got a fear I might be losing two positions here. Come on, man. You can, here comes you can John Burn and the Force India. The rest are. Oh, the two people I was battling with for the final point in the previous Oh, no, race. no, no, I've gone wide. Oh, All right, no. hold it, man. No, I've lost position. I've lost two positions. Oh, oh. second flipping time we've done that in this race. Come on, tires, hold on. You don't want it. But we're out just yet. I'm keeping good pace at the moment. And oh, no. That's, that's a bad, bad corner. 
And I've just completely dive bombed the rester, and that's completely failed. <laughs> but wait, oh, John Vern just did one of the best moves I've seen in F1 to get past Cucumber. <laughs> well, obviously he's the left car, but no, we did have the chicane, the right left chicane in the middle sector. Ah, uh, see you. Unfortunately, still not in the DRS of Hamilton. He's holding on well. He doesn't want to let me by easily because, obviously, if you remember, I stole the British Grand Prix home win from him in, uh, in, at Silverstone. So he will have some revenge going after me, probably. Still keeping with John Eckburn. Oh, I'm just under nearly a second. One hundredth of a second off. Getting the arse. Two laps to go. Come on, I can get a point here. Yeah. And McLaren, that McLaren is getting ever closer to the UK and I'm almost at the back of them. I must say, just like in, uh, in Germany, the AI are. Uh, uh, Showing pretty good pace to be honest. Obviously, the, Mc the Mercedes car aren't as good as the cars of these front people, but still, they're they're doing very well. It's not making it easy for us at all. We've only got one lap to go, and it's the last DRS zone. I really need. Oh yeah, crap! I forgot about that. Good thing. Yeah. Thanks for reminding me. Yeah. So oh need no! To get past Hamilton there. Use curse. Got the run, he's not even defending. So we need to not break too late. Tried to hold it around outside of me though. But he hasn't managed to do it. He got on the curb I think and lost drive. So we're up into P5s, that's nice. And Hamilton will not be happy with that. Oh flip sake, I haven't got DRS. As you can see, that's oh I can see the three cars they had of me, man. If there was only a few more laps I could manage but maybe challenge them. Do not want this race to end now, but unfortunately, I do. <laughs> but oh, there's a there's HRT holding up three people. HRT holding up the tail. Oh no, I broke my front wing. Ryan, I broke my front wing, and I've got a penalty. <laughs> Why is going on? <laughs> oh, oh no. there's the cucumber. I think. Oh, they sell the rose. They're just backing up everyone. Just gone straight into the back of them. Couldn't do anything about that, and that's just gonna screw me over massively with a 20 second penalty, and that's not fair at all, is it? I couldn't that's have gonna done help. That's gonna help me, that is. Oh, oh my I can see God. a lot of carbon fiber here. After all of this, and it's just been screwed all over by Cold Masters, thank you very much. Well, the good news is Mark Webber won the race. Bad news is it's not gonna help me. Oh, and here we go. Watch the standings, watch as I plummet down the order. Oh my god, how? What? And the game just put Pedro de la Rosa in P. Oh no, no, he's actually going down. I don't. Can I get a point? Can I get a point? Can I get a point? Come on, come on, come on. Oh. Uh, point. Oh my god, I would have fourth if it wasn't for that stupid Wait, hold on. Have I got a coded penalty system. Got... Wait, hold on. Why is de la Rosa nine seconds off the lead? I don't know. I've got short. Wait, I want so DNF. <sighs> I'm also crushed out. I am absolutely mad about that, man. Two points. Great job. Nice. Well, I don't know how, but I got a point because I'm also crushed out. <sighs> oh, I'll take that. <laughs> On that, uh, brief the drivers quickly. Uh, 77 points. Ah, Jensen's eight points. Mind. <sighs> With a pasty uh, right now, with a pasty. You can stand cold monsters for that. Well, you stood ahead of me. No, you're ahead of me. I'm ahead of you by 8 the, points. Uh, champion. By 8 points. Going on to. Briefly, go look at the constructors as well. Because that the gap is Thank getting ever Thank God for um, retirement. The gap is getting even bigger than the guys ahead, so. Uh, I don't know. It's, We've got it all to do. Is there a light in the end of the tunnel, do you think, Ryan? I think there is. I think that we still got a chance. 
as a uh, next time we're doing a hundred percent and <laughs> where are we going yeah at least you know at least when we're doing a hundred percent it is at the uh, amazing track at uh, the spa franco jump home for its unpredictability of the weather yeah hopefully we'll see some uh, weather action as well hopefully no but um as, as always, uh, like and vote the video and subscribe to both our channels. And uh, yeah, we shall. Uh, we won't be doing any challenges this time because uh, last time we did 100%, I did crap in a cockpit <laughs> camp. So yeah. <laughs> I think uh, we'll probably we'll probably bring that back to the end of the season when there's nothing really to fight for. But we'll wait and see yeah. on that. But until next time, uh, guys, it's been Ryan and Fizzy. You look depressed, you do. Yeah, man. You know I had. Fourth place inside, even third, and just been taken away from me at the most annoying uh, way. So I'm gonna be crying for the next week until we are at Spa. But <laughs> <laughs> well, until then, guys, uh, take care, and we shall see you later. Yeah, see you guys. See ya.